As Shabbat came to a close this week, like me, both Jews and non-Jews around the world were shocked and devastated to hear the news of the passing of a giant, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs. Rabbi Sachs was a giant of a spiritual leader, both to Jews and non-Jews around the world. He was taken from us far too soon. I wanted to take a moment to share with you the impact that he has had on me personally. You can't underestimate the impact that a thinking, smart, worldly, charismatic, warm, friendly, dynamic and prestigious leader like Rabbi Sachs can have on a young Jew like me and to so many others too. From a very young age, I remember hearing Rabbi Sachs speaking in synagogues, in Jewish youth programs, at pro-Israel rallies or on the TV and I thought, wow, I can hold my head up high as a Jew. The Jewish voice can bring real wisdom to the world stage. Rabbi Sachs taught me from a very early age what Judaism means when it calls upon us to be a light unto the nations. He taught me something that I have come to find more and more self-evident as I've gotten older, that as Jews we need not reject Judaism to engage with the world, and neither do we need to reject the world in order to engage with Judaism. Rabbi Sachs taught us to live a Judaism that is engaged with the world. He taught us that non-Jews respect Jews who respect their Judaism, and he embodied that teaching. In my final year of high school, I was trying to decide, do I want to pursue a career in Jewish education or politics? And that decision was going to help inform whether I would spend some time studying in the yeshiva. And I actually walked over to Rabbi Sachs after a talk he gave in my local synagogue. And he told me a great line about finding your purpose. He said, Ollie, your purpose comes where what you want to do meets what needs to be done. Figure out what you really enjoy doing and you're good at, and then see what the world needs and use your skills to that end. And indeed, just a few years later, when I saw him again at a communal Shabbat lunch and told him I was thinking about setting up a Jewish media channel to inspire positive Jewish identity around the world, he told me that not only was it a good idea, but it was essential that I do it. And he was indeed one of our very first guests on JTV, giving the project his full blessing. Through Rabbi Sachs' many books, articles, and videos, he has taught so much to so many, both Jews and non-Jews, prime ministers, presidents, and royalty. He taught me that God can be found through creation, revelation, and redemption. Creation meaning the wonder of nature, revelation meaning the Torah and its unique record of national revelation at Mount Sinai, and redemption meaning the miraculous and wondrous tale that is Jewish history. He told me that gratitude and thanking Hashem for both the ups and the downs was the key to contentment and life's blessings. He said, quote, when you live as a Jew, what are the first words you say every morning? Mode ani. You thank before you even think. You live a life that way and you will have a lifetime of satisfaction. On the growing world of political correctness, censorship and safe spaces, he stated boldly that while political correctness has beautiful intentions, that it teaches us to be sensitive in our language and not needlessly offend, we must never shut down conversations for fear of offence because it inhibits free speech and thus human progress. He said, quote, how do you create safe spaces? by giving a respectful hearing to views with which you disagree, not by silencing opinions. Celebrating our differences is the joy of real safe spaces, he said. Indeed, Rabbi Sachs devoted an entire book to this idea of celebrating difference, called the dignity of difference. He said a world in which we are all the same means we all have nothing unique to contribute. Difference makes us all unique and therefore makes us all equally indispensable an idea he taught which the Jewish people have embodied through being different. Rabbi Sachs powerfully pushed back at the notion that religion is the source of all conflict and backwardness in his book, The Great Partnership. He highlighted that of the four great political revolutions of the Enlightenment, the Russian, French, English, and American, the second two led to freedom, democracy, and liberty, and the first two led to bloodshed, tyranny, and terror. The French and Russian were based on atheistic ideologies and the English and American on biblical, on Judeo-Christian ones. 
In his book, he reminded us that it was the story of the Exodus that inspired many of the great liberation movements of history, including the American Civil Rights Movement. We were honored to produce two short animated videos with Rabbi Sachs on JTV. They were entitled, Things Judaism Has Taught Me About Life, and Things Life Has Taught Me About Judaism. You can find the links to these videos in the comment section below this video. I encourage you to watch them and to share them in honor and in the merit of Rabbi Sachs. Rabbi Sachs' legacy will live on through his countless students, and I hope I can count myself among them. I want to finish by sharing a quote from a recent speech he gave. He said, we are at such a rare moment in Jewish history, a moment we have to seize with open arms. Instead of being fearful or hiding our identity, we are living at a time of the greatest opportunity in Jewish history, where we can live as Jews in the world with confidence and pride, bringing light to the world around us. He said, and I quote, let us take this unique moment of independence and sovereignty in Israel, of freedom and equality in the diaspora, and let us really live proudly as Jews, true to our faith, a blessing to others regardless of their faith, and let us go and change the world together. May we all carry this message throughout our lives, and may Rabbi Sachs' memory be a blessing.